Highlands of Middle School by Mario, Elliot, Adam, and Max. Here are the four team members, Elliot, Adam, Mario, and Max. Location. We are located in, in Issaquah, Washington. We chose this area because there's a conservation of trees. There are many neighborhoods and parks nearby, and it is in nature. Equity. The median household income is about $100,000, and the national average is about $70,000. Median property value is about $570,000. This is unfair to poor family, so we decided to put carpools to give the same opportunities to those four families. School mascot. We decided to choose an eagle for a school mascot because our school name is Highlands, and the eagle is also a symbol of strength, courage, power, and focus. Let us remember, one book, one pen, one child, and one teacher can change the world. Malala. Mission and vision. Our mission is to connect students with nature, customizing student learning, and getting students to think outside the box with the help of the community in a safe and inclusive environment. Our vision is to create global citizens who are immersed in the community and are tra trailblazers paving the way for the future. planning for our school wants and needs. Learner of the future. We've created an infographic of the learner of the future. And we also wrote a short story, A Day in the Life of Luke, to give us a better idea of what life is like for a student attending our school. And we also took a virtual tour of our current school to help us understand what works and what doesn't work in a modern school. Uh, we also searched for inspiration on Google um, to give us an idea of what in, in, innovate, innovative looks like. And each of us sketched out ideas, which then we used later on to combine and make a sketch a model of our school. And then we saw feedback from Ms. Hinderoffer, our teacher, and Mr. Allen, our collaborating architect. This is our learner of the future. Our learner of the future will be connected and using tech by using augmented reality to learn and experience on a whole other level. And it, it, they'll also be connecting to people, they'll also be connecting to people around the world, using it to learn with social media sites. A student cares about natural energy and wants to use as much as they can. A student will, be, will connect to diversity by learning about different customs, having experience with diversity with tech in the real world. We want our students also to be connected uh, by using nature. Uh, uh, they'll, connect, they'll connect to you using nature by experiences, learning, and escaping from the tech. The student wants to learn by connecting with as many students as possible, being able to ask for any help at any time. The student will feel comfortable using AI and will use it to learn and create. The student wants to be able to let their mind wander to connect and come up with ideas. We decided to make a short story in the day of the life of Luke so we can better understand a day in the life of Luke. This is a typical day in our school. Our school days will be Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. We will have four periods, A and B days, one hour and 15 minutes periods, and 10 minute passing period, 30 minute lunch break, and 30 minute break. The reason why we didn't include uh, Wednesday in our school days is because many studies and research shows that if we, you take Wednesday out of our schedule, it'll allow students to relax and re relax their brain, which thus makes men good mental health and relieves stress on them. Also, it is a good way for students to catch up on any missing work that they have. Our schedule starts at 9, 10 a.m. and it'll end at 3.55 p.m. They're like, yeah. Project, we will have project-based and exponential things. We'll be, you will use building as a teaching tool, well, but teach, teaching tool. Our connection to nature will be um, 
We will use outside projects. We will go on walks. And we can use the outside nature as just a thing to help us um, create things. We will have social and personal time. We will have minute, we'll have 10 minute breaks, and extended lunch breaks following the Wednesday's break days. We'll also have a school currency for the Commerce Lounge. Community. We will partner with local restaurants and chefs for lunches for the students. We'll have gourmet and nutrients food for lunch. We will use resources for, bought from locals for everything from the um, crafts to things for Commerce Lounge. We'll have trails open to the all public uh, after school hours, and we'll also have a community park open to the public after school hours. This is a sketch and model of our school. As you can see, you can see the Riverwalk atrium and, uh, and the, the glass dome in the back, which is our commerce lounge. Planning for model. We've come up with a user experience design to decide what the kids will do at the school. And we've created drawings before we created the sketch of models. We created these bubble diagrams as well. This is our main, this is our main building. Our main building is the, our main building is the biggest building on campus. It, it includes four halls, three wings. It contains atrium and many social spaces. It's an eco-friendly building with a green roof. Classroom. Our classrooms contain natural light and themed classrooms, which means depending on which classroom it is, like the one in the picture is a marine biology classroom, it's wrapped in ocean wallpaper and some grass. There are circular tables to allow for better communication between the um, students. And there's inch interior windows so kids can look inside from the hallways for some inspiration. For our student comfort, we include different flexible seating, such as uh, standing or just sitting on the floor, uh, even wobbly chairs and comfy chairs. There are, we have a kind and caring community which offers counseling sessions if you're depressed, stressed, or have anxiety. There are different, there are sleeping pods that students can use in their 30 minute break to relax. We have also have many parks in and around campus, uh, in and around campus that students can use. This is our River Rock Atrium. Our atrium in, in, incorporates nature, natural lighting, and different student relaxation areas. There are also different social places for students to hang out and, and relax. There's also a work area, which you see in the sketch of those uh, circular cylinders, which students can work on different projects by themselves or with other students. This is our Commerce Lounge. Our Commerce Lounge includes a campus mall, a similar to a farmer's market where students can produce and sell different items. There's also a social space in our Commerce Lounge for students to socialize with each other. You, students can buy items with their school currency. Different community members can come uh, and explain their profession in our uh, commerce sounds. Examples are a graphic designer can show uh, in the art class. A botanist can show their plants in science. Commerce lounge continued. During lunchtime and break visits, students will use what they learned in school to go to the commerce lounge and experience real world skills with money management. Um, classes will produce items for the Commerce Lounge. For example, the design class makes skateboard de deck decals for the skateboard shop, and the art class makes posters for the shop in the Commerce Lounge. Our Commerce Lounge was inspired by the Seattle Farmers Market. 
Nature. We will have indoor garden classrooms for if it's raining or wet outside. We will, it will also function just like a green room or greenhouse. So if we need it to be hot or cold, we can change the weather inside. This will be infused in the curriculum, so we won't have to be doing this outside of school time. It's a large forest on site to explore and go on hikes or walks. We also have designated outdoor times to just hang out and play. Traffic. We have a tunnel for to separate the pedestrians and carpoolers and cars to drop off their kids. A three-lane drop-off system to um, drop off the kids to separate from the pedestrians too. The moving sidewalks to help them walk faster to school. Bike lanes to separate bikes and pedestrians so you don't get mixed up and don't and just to make things easier. And an underground parking garage to um, conserve um, the um, to, sorry con to conserve the forest and to save space. Green energy. Our schools were our schools will contain solar panels to soak up the energy of the sun and some fusion power. We decided to use fusion power because it's almost inexhaustible. It is the same process that powers the sun. We also have a futuristic concept called solar grass, which is a genetically modified grass, which soaks up the energy of the sun somehow and uses that energy to sustain the school. All these are clean and sufficient sources of energy to provide for safe breathing um, environment for the students and staff. VR building. The VR building is a tool for learning to enhance the students. We have a state-of-the-art athletic complex with many facilities, such as artificial ski slopes, gymnasiums, artificial turf fields, and an accessible green roof. In conclusion, our school is an innovative and collaborative design, and we are passionate about learning, and we want our kids to decide the way of, of their future. We are the Highlands.